Hello everybody, it's me, ProgamCuber17, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video because my parents got me a surprise gift for making 50 videos in my channel and getting first place in the MathCon Rubik's Cube competition. I am very excited to see what they got me, and now let's get to the unboxing. Okay, now let's open this up. Yes, finally, I got the GAN 356XS. Okay, so I've heard a lot of good stuff about this cube. So first of all, it is magnetic. You can adjust magnet, you can adjust the strength, strength of the springs. And if you can see, there's a blue S and it's a black, it says black 356X. Cause there was a cube called GAN 356X before this. And this is a improvement of that cube. And the reason they have the name as 356, XS. So XS is just the name of like, the model name, and GAN is just their like cube company's name. And the 356 XS is because it is a 3x3 for 3, and 56 is because it's a 56 millimeter cube. Okay, now let's open this up. So the first thing that was in here is just it was a card that GAN gives for every single of their cubes. And they have these, ma these are magnets in the side because this is, this is a cube that has adjustable magnets. The next is a, another card. And then the cube is right here. This is the cube and it comes with an accessory box. Let's first see what's inside this accessory box. Okay, so let's open this up. And so there is a paper that shows how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. It comes with a bag to put your cube in if you're going somewhere and comes with another card plus some accessories to change the inside of the cube with extra centerpiece caps. And there's a last card in here that says how everything works. Now let's look at the actual cube. Okay, now let's open up the box. That's a really cool box and it opens up in an angle. So let's put the box away and here's the cube. It has a black inside. It's the first time I've used a magnetic cube and it has it has like a matte texture almost. And so those are the magnets. And this is a very smooth cube. And you can see like there's like a different texture to these right here. It's like a little different than before cubes. Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at look taking a look how these magnets work. So there's in the middle pieces there are two magnets on both sides. You can put it in three different modes. So if you put it closest to like the end of this piece, it'll be the weakest. You put it the farther farther away, it'll be more powerful. So I like mine as the most powerful, the, the most powerful setting. So the one farthest away from the core. And if the one that's fully away from the core is too much for you, and but the one closest to the core is too less for you, you can put it in the middle, which would be just right. At the same time, there are magnets in corner pieces, which you cannot change. And there are three per corner. Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at the inside of the core. 
on each side where you can change the speed and the corner cutting or the stamina of the cube. So the always the cube always comes in with this light blue piece in and when you get one on the light blue piece there is a there's three numbers 0 1 and 3 and you can see in the cube there is a black piece in and so you can put it in and if you just press down and you can turn it to and you you can line it up with a number and so the light blue pieces make corner cutting easier and you can put you can, and if you want to take this piece out you can take it out by putting it over the zero and you can take it out and there it comes with the dark blue piece too which makes the stamina of the cube better so like it won't pop as easily and you can put that in and there's a zero two and four i like two the most because it's like half and half because all the corner cutting is pretty good and you can't really like break the cube that easily. Now, you can also notice that it the, it comes with a tool that looks like this. This adjusts the speed of the cube. So if it's at the top, there's five levels. So you want to turn the you wanna, you can put it on and make the three dents, and you can turn it clockwise. You can turn it five times. So as I keep on turning it. It'll make tiny, tiny sounds until it gets all the way down to its like lowest setting. And then if you do one more turn, it resets at one again. So there's five settings like that. One is the fastest and five is the slowest. But you have to debate on this too, because if it's at five, it means this cube is like really sturdy and it it's really good in your hands and one on every side makes it really s smooth but it makes the cube really flimsy and i like mine on 5 so then you can just pop the center cap back on so the way i set up my cube is with a dark blue 2 for the inside a five for the speed and a the strongest set of magnets for the inside now we're going to be i'm going to show you guys some of my speed solves